So this is a video on how to set new starting positions on a chronograph watch. In this case, it's specifically the V2 Chronogen. If you look here, you can see that the second hand and the minute hand there are not set properly. And if I start the chronograph and it starts going, and we'll just give it a couple seconds, and I reset it, and then I push it back, it's going to a weird starting position. So the way I fix this is by pulling out the crown all the way to the last position. So not the middle position that will affect the date, but the final position there. And now it's all the way out, it can't be pulled out more. And when I push the top button, the top pusher, as you can see, that second hand is moving, that second chrono hand is moving one, right? Now if I hold it, it'll take a second and it'll start spinning around all the way. Now if you notice, every time it goes that those 60 seconds, it's also moving the minute hand. Now this could be annoying because you don't want to go all the way around. So what you could do is actually go backwards by clicking the bottom pusher, like so. And if you look, see now the bottom pusher is going back. And if I hold it, it's the same idea. So if I wanted to get this to an evened out position, it might take a minute here. Now the nice thing is once it's set, I never have to set it again. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's just get it back to that 30 uh, uh, mark. And that'll take one second. Now let's say I overshoot the mark. I don't need to go all the way around. Say I overshot the mark. I can just go back the other way, right? And there we go. And now I'm right on the 30. Uh, I'm not on the exact starting position I wanted there. Now I'm evened out starting position. Now if you look, I get the chronograph going. And let's just give that a couple seconds. And now we're at 10. And then when I push the top pusher, to reset, I push the bottom pusher, and there we go. Now, just basic use on the watch, that's how you use the chronograph. You push the top pusher, and that'll get the seconds going, and if that went around, the minute hand would move. To stop it, I push it again, it stops, and to reset it, I push the bottom pusher. This is for the V2, it still has the sticker on the back, right here, that's what the red is, I can take that off. That's the V2 Chronogen, Sapphire Crystal, 5 ATM. It's a nice watch. And that is how you use the chronograph functions on this timepiece.